Memorial Stadium was one of the many multi-purpose stadiums that dotted the landscape of America in the 20th century. The home of the Colts, Orioles, and shortly the Ravens, it had a long and storied history in both baseball and football. From its beginning to its end, it saw teams move in and out and even sat abandoned for a time. This is Memorial Stadium, Rise and Fall. Memorial Stadium of Baltimore was built from 1949 to 1950. Located where the old municipal stadium was, it was named in memoriam for those lost in the World Wars. The hope was with its construction that it could bring major pro sports to Baltimore, as Baltimore previously had AAFC football and International League baseball teams. Both MLB baseball and NFL football would come to Memorial, interestingly enough under the names of their previous AAFC and International League teams' names, in the Colts and the Orioles. First, the Colts would be established through NFL expansion in 1953, and then, after a capacity expansion, the St. Louis Browns would move to Memorial, becoming the Orioles. The Colts would see success at Memorial early on, winning back-to-back -back NFL titles in the late 50s, one of which in 1959 was hosted and won at Memorial. The Johnny Unitas-led era of the Colts led to a winning atmosphere at Memorial through the early 70s. The same would be the case for the Orioles, with them hosting six World Series at Memorial from the late 60s to the early 80s. Ball success was a plenty for much of the stadium's life. Its drawbacks as a multi-purpose stadium were quite more visible than later developed cookie-cutter stadiums. Views were far and obstructed in spots, and by the 80s, ownership wanted a replacement. It was at this point that negotiations with Baltimore began. Unfortunately for Baltimore, there was failure to find a middle ground, and the city threatened to claim the team from then-owner Robert Ursay. However, Ursay would simply move the team without warning at night before anything could materialize. Indianapolis had the brand new RCA dome constructed, and this made it easy for Ursay to run from the city. Attendance and population was dropping in Baltimore, and Indianapolis was growing. There would be no final game, no goodbye, and the venue would simply become a baseball first venue. The Orioles would play at Memorial through the 80s and into the early 90s. This time though, a new stadium was agreed upon, which would become Camden Yards, opening in 1992 to much fanfare. Memorial would sit more idled for the next few years, with CFL football being played there for two years. In 1996, however, the NFL would return to Baltimore and Memorial, when the Cleveland Browns would move there for a brief two-year stay as the newly named Baltimore Ravens. Afterward, the stadium would finally be vacated for the last time, and from 1998 to 2001 would sit abandoned. In 2001, it was finally torn down. Today sits an ovular street, reminiscent of the ovular stadium that once sat there. Memorial Stadium showed that even as far back as the 1980s, multi-purpose stadiums were not seen as the future by some. Even though one had just been built with the Metrodome in Minnesota, and one had yet to be built for MLB and the NFL with Joe Robbie Stadium in Miami, the decline of multi-purpose stadiums would not become visible till the mid to late 90s. But the Colts' move from Memorial would serve as a precursor to a new trend that would eventually become the norm. Thank you for watching.